Whoa, we got a tiger. Get ourselves a nice tiger. Look at that beautiful tiger. Beautiful. Beautiful tiger trout. All right, folks, so here's a very rare occasion. It's sunrise and fishing in February, which is very uncommon. But this morning is kind of unique in that we have, uh, it's already 30 degrees here today, and it's gonna rise pretty quick. Um, and I'm concerned about melt. Um, I think that there is going to be a point where it's just not going to work to fish today. But I wanted to get in here in a spot where I can get in. And I'm going to walk up as far as I can today. It's going to be subject to a couple of different things. A, and it's too... It's too... Um, too dark yet for the sunglasses but I'm sure this water is quite cold Ooh, this is kind of mucky right here I don't think this muck is gonna stay but Pretty firm up here, but um, we'll give it a shot here. This water, hopefully my polarizer isn't too dark right now, but we'll see if we can find any fish. Yeah, so I've got this black and green one that I'm going to switch to. There's a follower. You know what? I think I'm going to switch to gold. Just to see if we can get any different reaction. exact same green tail but in gold with a green eyeball should be good let's see what silver can do oh, there went a fish Ah. And there's a fish. So the switch color made a difference, or the bite has just started. Not sure which. So that guy's, that guy was not getting away. Stuck very good. Yeah. All right. There's a nice brown. Boop boop boop. That fish does go 14, right at 14. Nice looking brown trout. There he goes. If I can get some uh, 
for certain no ice temp. I'll break out the first GoPro uh, underwater shots, which I'm getting excited about. Um, I just haven't been real crazy to mess with all that in the middle of freezing uh, water. Easy does it, dude. Yeah, another nice brown, another pretty brown. Wow, that guy's a little longer. Yeah, he looks 15. Nice, nice brown. There he goes. <laughs> you ain't gonna see that very much. He thought he was hooked. The line completely broke off. <laughs> and while he was struggling, while he was struggling, I managed to scoop him up. And holy crap. You know when you're when you're beating the line on uh, oh and this is a nice brown this is an 18 inch brown when you're beating the line on uh, ice and all of this sharp stuff it's not surprising to have that happen in the winter stop it dude stop it let me put it in the net for a second here. Yeah, you can see that line broke off about 10 foot up and he went by just thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm, I can't make it out of here. And, uh, <laughs> perfect. So now, now, what do we do here? So here we go with the first
hopefully I get something good for that. All right. That was that was easily an 18 inch pile. Sorry, I didn't get a measure, but trust me folks, I'm pretty good with the measurement. I know sometimes people say, oh this is in that size. I use a ruler enough, folks, that, trust me, I know my size is pretty darn good. But, uh, all right. So that guy, he came right there, bit my lure, and the line broke about 20 feet up. And he started uh, doing this because he was uh, thinking he was still hooked, because he was. But no line attached. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Never happened to me before. So we'll keep going here. Well, this is quite a change here. Because it looks like this came through here and cut out. And and you can see the water's going out there. So it's going out there and back into that section back there. So this is a huge oxbow. Okay, and here looks like a spot. Bit of a hole. off again. I got a problem with my line somewhere. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's a little disheartening, folks. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. I'm thinking that I might have a uh, pinch in that bearing on the reel because it was breaking way down there. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I have switched to 8 pound braid for winter just for a little bit easier casting but 8 pound braid I mean that's enough to handle a steelhead for Pete's sake I'm not so sure why that's happening but I'll watch it and I'll have to go through this rod closely when I get home with a magnifying glass to see if there's maybe a groove in one of my uh, eyelets that I can't see here while I'm out on the stream um, that's very atypical there's no reason for that. Um, and unfortunately that fish has lure in its mouth, but he will shed that hook. He'll stick it on something and rip it out. So he won't mess with that for long in his body. But I'm going to move to a uh, silver and black with a yellow eyeball and that green, or I'm sorry, I think it's red, red specked yellow tail. And we'll give that a shot. Especially now that it's turning a little bit more fair weather, people will get out. There's a fish. A little brown. It's the smallest fish I've got. A 10 inch brown, pretty fish. There's another one. Nicer. A little nicer fish. This guy's definitely a 12 or 13. Yeah, nice brown trout. Beautiful fish. And there he goes. There's another one. Another nice. 
nice 13 inches. Ah, and he's off. Came off. There's some little fish there. There's a nice. Oh my god, it did it again. Can I get him? Try and net him and get the hook out. Well, I've definitely got something wrong with my pole. So. I'm going to stop fishing. And I can't see that guy anywhere in here. Well that pisses me off. And again it broke somewhere in the middle here. And there's no way that that braid is that fragile. So. Sorry, we got two fish with lures in their mouths and two tungsten losses, which really irritates me. But I am not going to fish with this pole anymore, so I'll stop back and get my other rig. I even thought about taking two poles today. Shit. And um, Shebs is supposed to be coming out, so we'll see where he's at. That was a nice fish though, another 18, 19, something like that. But I'll get out here, uh, not, not much of an outro. Um, man, this was probably the best spot too. But I just don't think there's any way that I should keep fishing when that's occurring. It's just dumb. So somewhere here, and I can't see it well enough with my contacts in, but somewhere in here, I'm betting I have a, a burr of some type, no doubt from uh, poking out the ice. But that's my guess. Either that or it's this pinch on this bearing, but if it had broke there, that would already be on the reel. So it broke in front of that. And I was pulling, so I think it's this one. But I'll get a better look later. See you later on. That's how you like the GoPro so far. I like it. Is it worth the extra but, price? Well, considering... Uh, Considering the extra resolution, yeah. What I'm looking forward to is uh, they called me on our gigabyte internet. They'll be digging the trench straight to the electric box in March. As oh, soon as the ground is frozen. You're going to have fiber. So, uh, so I'll have fiber, which means I'll also Much pick up a uh, 4K monitor. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no sense in having it now because I don't have the bandwidth on any of it. Yeah, not yet. But that will be nice when I have it. And it's rock climbing time. By far, I think the most dangerous part of trout fishing. Get into the water. Yep. <laughs> Hey, all right. 
off the skunk. There's a fish. Little bitty brown. Six incher, five incher. Hey, I'm not going to the skunk. You already got off the skunk. Yeah. There's a little brown. That's about the average size of fish we get here. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, just a cute little brown. Pretty fish. Super colors in them. Should be a fish on that left side. Bet there's a little guy in that hole. Yep. Here he comes. Nice. <laughs> he wanted it. Came a long way for that. Little brown. Hungry. Eight inches or so. Nice looking fish though. He's not scrawny. Looks healthy enough. There's a little guy, a little small brown. They're smashing. They're smashing them. Yeah. They're not. They're not messing around. Definitely a more active bite than we had on the rug. Yeah. Now they're just eight inch, seven inch brown, seven inch brown. I'd say. Pretty. Nice colors on the fish here. Ah, you sucker. Oh, it's coming. There he is. Oh, a nicer one. Nice one, too. Yeah. Eleven. Maybe a footer. Yeah, he's a footer. Sweet. Nice. Double hit. That's a 13 or oh, 14. Yeah. And he's iced up. Nice. Ten and a half. He's not that big. Yeah. That's, that's at least a footer. He is. Yeah, he's just at 12. Maybe a little less. I'm going to get him in. He's all snowy. Just about two miles before you No, I didn't one. see it. He was in the ditch just right there. Next house after the Chowing on some carrion? Yeah. Well, they love to do that too. Big ass birds when you see them right next to you like that. There's a little brownie. They're still eating. They run up underneath the snow there, they always just stack. He grabbed that good. Yeah, all three hooks. Again, just just a little guy. Oop. Come here, dude. Just a little guy. Boy, he's rambunctious. About eight, seven. <laughs> a little tiny guy. Better fish. Double. We got a double, ladies that's, that's and gentlemen. That's what I've seen all day. Yep. That's a 14. Good ballpark. Good ballpark. Good ballpark. There's a fish double, but yours is twice the size of that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. 
He grabbed that whole lure. That one goes 14. Nice, nice fish. Like I've been hiding and eating under this rock all day long. It comes along. The damn lure. Oh, that's a nice yeah, pretty Those spots. spots cool spots, leopard spots. I've had it. I've been going since uh, sunrise. Well, we found plenty of fish anyway. I'm not sure what they're doing back there. I think it's a, I think it's like a development. Yeah, that's not next to the stream. Yeah, I think it's somebody's driveway or house or something. Yeah. Excavation. Yeah, that road goes over there. Well, that's the snowmobile trail too, but no, they did. Road right oh, here. the service road.